ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Stonehearth and the Nerds of the North, but as you've never seen them before. Yes, I decided to re-embark three members of the Nerds of the North. They are joined by two members of the Ascendancy, and we are technically now the Ascendancy, despite having members of the Nerds of the North. There's a couple of reasons for the re-embark. Basically, I decided that to beat the lag, it was honestly the best thing to do. The whole game was just acting weird. People weren't really doing anything. No one was running around. No one was just doing anything. So, again, this was the best way to beat the lag. I thought it would be interesting as well because we're starting with a Geomancer. We've got our level 4 Geomancer. We have a level 6 Archer right away. Over here, we have a level 5 Mason. We brought a rabbit person with us. Then, of course, we have two uh, very, very ginger members of the Ascendancy. You might wonder why they're mining things out. I will answer that question in just a moment because there is a strange bird. An odd bird arrives with a letter in its beak, stamped with the official seal of the Ascendancy. The bird also carries a name tag, which reads, Harold. Dear Expedition 117, I hope this letter finds you well. By my guess, you've likely set up camp by now. As your capital liaison, it is my honor to preside remotely over the official founding of your outpost. I trust that you had ample time to choose a name on your journey. As you know, every new settlement must choose a banner. This banner reflects your spirit and vision, the uniting factor which brought the expedition together. What future did you foresee when you embarked on your quest for township? Hold in your mind a vision of what your town will one day be. Your banner will set that course, but it is up to you to finish it. Choose well, my friends. I eagerly await your reply. Yours, Mayor Burleyhands. Okay, so the banner of vitality, the banner of strength, or the banner of cunning. I'm pretty sure... Did we go with cunning last time? I'm not really sure. Uh, mining gives more ore, stone, and clay. Hearthlings no longer mine cramped spaces. This seems like a good idea because we are going to be... Well, let's get the name first. The Nerds of the South? I guess? <laughs> I... <laughs> I, I guess Nerds of the South is uh, is what we're going to be. So uh, let's try that again. Nerds of the South. There we go. We are the Nerds of the South. We have established ourselves. We're going to get more ore, stone, and clay, which is beautiful news. And they won't mind cramped spaces. So they're doing some mining at the moment because I told them to do this right here. And this right here is going to be five bedrooms and a workspace for the Geomancer. Now, speaking of the Geomancer, we can immediately, even though they're having a grand time here, we can immediately go and say, do some work for me. Now, we are going to need energy tonics and we are going to need hearth essence. But the good news is we can get that already. Or sorry, we can't get it yet, but we are growing it. The energy tonics are going to be a whole nother thing. But that's okay, because I believe... We can say to one of you two, and I'm thinking, Helen Homer, we're going to say to you that you are going to become a herbalist. And then to the other one, Leah, I suppose you are, you have the heart of a crafter. So a farmer is probably not the best bet there, to be honest. Carpenter, not a bad idea. So let's let you become a carpenter. And we'll see how things go. The bird squawks. You're not sure how you missed it before, but the bird is wearing a tiny backpack. It contains a note which which reads, A little something to help you celebrate. Along with three roast sausages, four peasant breads. And now we have a level one carpenter. And the bird departs. The odd messenger bird scurries off with your official settlement finding, blah, 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 blah. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and get a carpenter on the go so we can start making things there. And a... Herbalist is going to need some herbs before we can even make a bench. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and say, just start gathering things from around the neighborhood. The neighborhood. From around the area, just like so. We'll just gather whatever we can from the area. 
So there we go. We'll grab all of that. And I'm also going to say chop down just a couple of trees so we can get a little bit of wood here. We shouldn't need too much of it, but we are going to need a little bit. We're also going to need a stockpile. So we'll go ahead and put the stockpile over in this corner right here. That should be perfectly fine. We will allow everything on it. And that means that things are going to be moved into storage away from the campfire. Speaking of which, probably not a bad idea to move it over towards uh, this area as well. So the campfire can go there. The banner of strength can go beside it. And this mining process really shouldn't take too long once everything actually gets moved to where it needs to be. Such as the golem workbench, which I think I'd kind of like to move to be... Uh, let's say, let's say these can live against the wall over here for just a little while. So we'll get those to be in, uh, in those spots right there. And that should be perfectly fine. That'll be everything getting moved to where it needs to be. Mining, still going fantastically well. I'm assuming, yep, the carpenter workbench is done. So we'll go ahead and put that just up here. And we have wild silkweed seeds that I'm going to go ahead and plant there and there. All right, so now that we have the carpenter workbench, we're probably good to go ahead and start uh, queuing up some things for the carpenter to do. A couple of wooden practice swords, probably not a bad thing to maintain five of those. Probably not a terrible idea to start looking at things like doors, so we'll queue up five of those to begin with as well. I'd also like to queue up, I think... I'm going to say 10 of those windows right there. And I'm going to say, you know, let's pause here. I hear something something going on. We'll do 10 of these lights as well. That should be enough. So what's going on? Why am I hearing combat? What are you running away from there, bud? Oh, hello. Okay. Interesting. Let's send the combat party down there. We'll turn alert mode on just to make sure everything's okay. You should be able to deal with one skeleton, right? Yeah, no problem. We are going to need to get more fighters as soon as possible, though, but that's probably not going to be too big a deal. And there we go. Carpenter already making those combat swords. Combat sword. Is it combat sword? Wooden, wooden sword. Why did I say combat sword? Anyway, we have got the means to get another Harthling. Maggie Homer has joined the Nerds of the North and is going to go do some mining. Now, what I'm thinking is that maybe Maggie Homer should become a fighter. Actually, maybe maybe a farmer. I think a farmer might be an idea because we are going to run out of food very, very quickly. So let's go ahead and say that right away, Miss Maggie Homer can go ahead and start working on... Oh, we carried over a few things here. Uh, so we have things like turnips and carrots. Let's say turnips there. Let's say carrots there. And let's say pumpkins up there. We have got golden gourd as well. I'm actually going to say do that as well. Because I think one farmer should be able to manage those four fields. I might be completely wrong, but I'm going to be a little bit hopeful. I'm also really hopeful that we can start doing some stuff with the Geomancer soon. Because the Geomancer right now is doing absolutely nothing. Uh, we could make some of these blocks. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. Because with those, we can at least try and keep them leveling. Uh, so we'll try and craft five of the dirt terrain stone blocks. And I also want to just check the woods here and make sure there's no bad guys. I'm not seeing anything at the moment. Now that is a bad guy right there. Let's send my archer over to uh, deal with that. And we can hope for the best. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Alert mode is still on. Now, they are all going to fight that thing, which went surprisingly well. And I also totally forgot to turn alert mode off. Uh, let's let them kill it. There we go. And alert mode's off. Archer's dealt with it. Carpenter level 2 has been achieved, which is very good news. And you are going to be working on whatever you're working on. All right. So Geomancer's doing his thing. Carpenter's doing their thing. Level 5 Geomancer will be able to craft large golems, which is amazing news. Carpenter, currently, can do wooden double doors. I think we're going to want some of those. Wooden tunnel door is probably what we want, though. So let's go ahead and say 
that for one, we are going to need an extra normal door. And I think I'm going to say two of the tunnel doors just to be safe. Just to make sure that we're going to be all right. We're also going to need beds. I almost forgot about beds. So let's see here. We are going to need technically six of these. What I'll do is I'm going to craft... I'm going to craft ten of them off the bat. And I realize in saying that we actually need to mark out another room here. So what we'll do is go like that. And then we go eight by twelve. And that is another room. All right, so we'll get those carved out. What I'm also going to do is actually go back to the mining task and say that I want to get a little space dug out like that and like that for each room because this is where the windows are going to go. Each room is going to have a couple of nice little diamond-shaped windows in it. At least these rooms are the ones that are a little bit further into the mountain, maybe not so much. But there we go, we'll get those carved out. What we can also do is go and start putting the doors in. So we'll have the doors like this. They're all going to open into their rooms. So just like that. And hopefully that'll get done in a reasonable amount of time. But I think it's going to look good. I mean, there's the doors. There's a couple of them in already. There's another one over there that leads straight into rock, but that's okay. I think it's going to look really good. Now, you've got some herbs, we've got carrot seeds, we've got snow poppy, we've got gold pine. I don't think there's anything here that I urgently want from you. I could sell my dirt terrain stone blocks. I'm not really going to be using those, so I think we will. We have sugar bell seeds, oak tree seeds. We brought some stuff like the golem pick and the golem backpack. Trapper's knife. I don't think there's much else we're urgently going to need there. So I think we're okay. I do think we're okay. And there we go. Those have been carved out. The windows will be good to go. So let's go ahead and start placing those in. And those are going to look pretty good there, I think. I might... What was that? One of my PCs just yelled at me. I'm not sure which one it was. <laughs> I've got, uh, I've got two PCs going through one pair of headphones. I'm not sure which one just yelled at me, but it was a bit weird. Anyway, there's the windows going in. They actually look really good. It might be worth upgrading them to stone at some point. Because, uh, you know, the brown kind of blends into the mountain a little bit. But I like it. I think it looks... I think it looks pretty good. Now, here's my question. Do we have beds yet? We do not. Okay. That's totally fine. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and get some lights in here. We'll get some by all of the doors, which apparently we can only do in those two rooms to start with. And I think we'll also do one like that, just to try and give the room some really good light. Now, daily update wise, we do have the means to bring in Hearthling number seven, which is really good news because Hearthling number seven is not so good in the body. But that's okay. I want you to go be a footman. I want you to be a footman because it means that we are slightly more well protected, which is kind of important to me. So we'll get that done. We can also go ahead and say that the tunnel doors can go in. So the tunnel doors are going to go like that. And I'm also going to put one like... Uh, like this as well. So just facing that way. That way this main entrance is properly secure, which is absolutely something we want. I also want a door there for the workshop, which is going to be done fairly soon. I might extend that room and just have all of my crafters in there. That might not be a terrible idea. But I kind of like the idea of giving them all their own room because it means I can customize them at some point make the rooms look good, etc, etc. So, we'll see what happens there. Either way, beds are starting to come through, so what I'm going to do is get them by the windows. So, I got a couple of beds in there. I might... I might have them share rooms for a while. I don't know. I guess they have got beds. That's a start, at least. Yeah, I guess that's a start. And I guess we could maybe do some lights in the hole here as well. Just something a bit like that. 
Uh, those lights weren't necessarily intended for the hole, but it will brighten things up in there, which I think is going to be kind of important. So there we go. Have a couple of beds. We have a couple of doors. The rooms are starting to take shape. I'll probably end up tearing those walls down, to be honest. Those walls will probably get torn apart. And we have a goblin. All right. So alert mode isn't going to do us any favors here. We just need you guys to go and kill it. There we go. Goblins don't stand a chance. Trying to steal things. Not really working for them. Uh, workshop over here. Actually very, very nearly done. So what I'm going to do, at least for the time being, is I'm going to move my... Uh, what's his face? Uh, Ge Geoman. You know that thing that we spent 15 episodes trying to get our hands on? You know that? Yeah, what's its face? Yeah, that thing. Yeah. We'll move it in there. So they can at least start working in here, which I think is going to be a good thing. Uh, we could put a cheeky little bit of storage in there too at some point, but I don't think we'll bother just yet. Now this room's taking shape. Uh, actually, maybe I will put storage in there because it would give the... It would give the carpenter something to do. Or the mason, I suppose. We do need a mason's workbench. And an amberstone mason's pedestal. Interesting. I didn't even know we had this. But I guess it's because it's a rabbit. Alright. That's not bad. Uh, we can get a cook's spoon at some point. We can get a potter's cutter right away. Uh, we can get these shelves, which will be great. We have the rabbit carved display shelf. We have the stone mole, which we can maybe craft or maintain, I don't know, three of. We have the burrow door and burrow window. I didn't even know I had half of this stuff. Okay, there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. Uh, the burrow door, I actually kind of want immediately. I'm gonna be honest, that's gonna look so much better. And the burrow window, I. I kind of need in my life, so let's queue up two of those. Let's queue up ten of those. Uh, the stone doors, we're gonna, I guess, queue up ten of those as well, even if we don't use them. We have golem parts that we can make a lot of. I don't think we'll do that just yet. We have some bundles of fiber. Probably not gonna use those just yet. Uh, what I'll do is queue up maybe four of those shelves, and I think I'm going to queue up maybe 10 of those stone chests. That way, the mason's going to be busy for a long time, but it does mean we are going to be able to get on pretty quickly here, which is great news. So we'll get that all placed in there, and that means the mason can go and get to work pretty much right away, which is exactly what we want them to do. Now, I just heard some goblins snarling. Where did I hear the goblins from? Are they on the hill above me? No, they are not. They are around the corner. All right, red team, if you wouldn't mind, go and attack. Although I'm very tempted to change you guys out for blue team, just because I've, I've said red team this entire time, and I always say red team, so... I don't know. Anyway, that guy's dead, so that's fine. They've done what I needed them to do. You guys are having a bit of a feed, which is also good. Daily updates in. Hearthling number eight is coming in. Sean Burley Hands. Oh. So your mind stat <clears throat> is a bit terrible, but your body stat and your spirit stat are not bad. I am just going to let you be a miner for a while, though. I'm also thinking it might not be a bad idea to try and get... I mean, well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six bedrooms. Might not be a bad idea to get the other... The other two that we're going to need. And I might stop at eight hearthlings for just a little while. I realize I've done this completely wrong. Uh, I might stop at eight hearthlings for a little while just to uh, just to make sure that, you know, we can keep these guys happy. Because this is still, it's not necessarily episode one of a new series, but it is, you know, the start of the Nerds of the South, right? So I don't want to go, I don't want to rush it. I don't want to go too nuts, not just yet. So we'll let these guys sort of do their thing. Uh, the mason is still doing their thing. That's fine. We could put some lights in there. I don't think I'll bother. Sugar bell seeds. I guess I'll plant these. I don't really know what they're all about, but I guess I'll do that. Uh, now where did... Aha! 
That's what I'm looking for right there. Now I want to move these. Because these need to go over by the entrance because we need hearth buds. We are going to need a lot of hearth buds as well. So we'll get those moved and we will immediately go and harvest them. Which is going to give us more seeds for hearth buds. And then that one is not going to give us seeds. That's unfortunate. Unless it did and it was moved right away. Nope. 